Welcome Cancerians and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Monday the 25th of October through to Sunday the 31st of October 2021. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So Cancerians let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the week ahead. Um, Cancerians whoever you are connecting with and bear in mind this could be a love connection or it could be somebody at work or somebody in your community okay um this is a fated connection okay um and it has this week it's going to hit you like um a, a thunderbolt something that you are uh, uh i feel as if something you're gonna you're gonna see something that's gonna uh give some kind of affirmation that this person is fated to be in your life at this specific point in time okay um now either you feel a lot of passion for this person it will be like a, a real uh a, a thun like a bolt of lightning that is gonna almost just um explode with passion okay or it is you're going to see this person um is very passionate in what they do or very pa a very passionate person either towards you or if it's somebody in work or your family member or um um within your community it feels as if you're going to see um a different side to them a real passion that they have for something okay i would say that many of you have been very kind of on the fence with this person so whether it's a love interest uh whether it's somebody at work uh whether it's somebody in your community or in your family you've been really kind of unsure um about this person not quite a, like something just didn't kind of you just weren't sure you couldn't pinpoint something many of you may have been asking uh, divine spirit universe for some sort of affirmation of how this person plays into your life uh, maybe you, you you may have felt that connection but many of you may not have really trusted it okay uh, i feel as if um I feel as if that is definitely going to change, all right? And this person, uh, regardless in what context you see them, is going to bring you a lot of happiness. And I feel that you're being guided from the channeled message that um, like, uh, you're being guided to uh, build that relationship with that person, okay? Because it's going to bring you great happiness. Wow, yeah, look, you've had a revelation unmarked trail and it's to do with around your heart um so like i said your channeled message was like you were a little bit uncertain it's like there was just something you just couldn't put your finger on with this person you felt the connection but you it's like you didn't trust it so many of you may have been in meditation may have been in that tranquil quiet place trying to listen to your heart the green here represents heart chakra these building blocks is normally what you associate with uh, peace or meditation tranquility um and it feels as if as you have been in that state or been in you know even if it's not meditation or prayer or or, or consciously asking divine spirit universe your higher self what is the significance of this person it feels as if unconsciously um you have left a trail of thought um, that has been a little bit of a maze for you let me just pull this in front of you and um, that's been you can see here this is like a maze okay um and i feel that that call to action to build something with this person is what your heart is going to be telling you um and it's because that unmarked trail of consciously or unconsciously asking for help asking uh is this person significant you feel it but you don't trust it that's where you're having the revelation. And you know what? It's going to hit you like a bolt of lightning in your heart space. Wow. Okay, uh, let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me your crowning messages to the question? How does the soulmates... Ooh. Okay, how many cards? Oh, they're giving me the two cards. Oh, wow. Okay. So with fools embrace transmuting pain, uh, whether or not you guys have gone through some sort of um, uh, 
pain or heartache or um, some sort of trauma, some sort of letdown, okay? Uh, I feel as if you're being guided to take the action, uh, the yellow solar plexus, the orange uh, sacral chakra. You guys feel this person, whoever this person is, you feel them on a very soul, uh, a soul level, very deep soul level, but it feels as if it's triggered. It's like kicked up some pain. And I feel that you're being guided to embrace that pain because that pain is, is going to take uh, is going to trigger you to take a leap of faith. So whatever it is what's confusing you, the revelation is going to almost kind of trigger you to kind of, okay, uh, this is a different situation. This is a different person. Um, I need to uh, go with my gut, go with what I'm feeling, taking the action to take that leap of faith, okay? Um, and what it is, it's basically uh, something that's transforming maybe a past um, pain of some sort of being let down. Uh, with regards to love, if this is somebody that you are connected to, uh, there may have been um, a breakup, okay, where I feel that um, where I was saying in your channeled message that you're being guided to build something with somebody, you may be uh, feeling as if um, uh, there may be a call to action to reconcile with this person in some shape, form or another because it feels as if you're being guided to take a leap of faith it's almost as if with the vanishing mirror uh ego sublimination it feels as if whatever it is that you didn't trust with this person or whatever it is that you 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 broke uh, you and this person broke up uh it feels as if um something is definitely being shattered some sort of illusion and it may have been that your ego was in the way of something to see something really clear Clearly, and that's why it was very confusing for your heart. It feels as if it was that maze, okay? It's like you couldn't put your finger on it. So let me just be a bit clear here. So if this is somebody um, that isn't a love connection, which I'm almost feeling as if it could be something to do at work or somebody in your community, there's something that you couldn't pinpoint. Um, either they've triggered up some sort of pain, like, do I trust this person? Can I really? trust this person I feel like I can I feel this um, deep connection um, and it may be uh, you may have been um, your ego uh, maybe this person has uh, shone a light maybe they um, have skills that you haven't got or uh, their skills are at the same level as you and maybe in the past um, where you've encountered similar peoples they may have stabbed you in the back okay uh, I feel as if that um, illusion or that viewpoint is being shattered whilst you've been unconsciously asking divine spirit universe who is this person in my life? What is the significance of them? That's why you've been very, very much on the fence, okay? Because you've been hurt before trusting somebody, okay? Trusting somebody to help you achieve a goal, help you achieve some sort of objective, particularly if it's in a workplace or a community setting uh, and you got hurt. But I feel that you're being guided to take a leap of faith with this person because how you view them, uh, it may have been your ego that might have been getting in the way and that's gonna be shattered. With regards to a love connection, if you have separated from somebody, it could have been down to you seeing seeing the separation. Um, uh, there was something that eluded you, okay? And it may have been your ego that may have been in the way. That is being shattered. And during this period of separation, it feels as if um, consciously or unconsciously, you you were kind of like in a bit of a maze when it came to your heart space with this person, because it's like this person still, uh, they brought you a lot of happiness. They did bring you a lot of happiness. So many of you may have felt very, very hurt by the separation, but I feel the call is to uh, build, uh, reconcile uh, with this person as divine spirit universe comes in and changes the cycle. I feel like whatever it is, uh, particularly with the pain, is closing out. And where you are seeking clarity of who this person is to your life, what is their significance, uh, that is being, uh, that's being cleared up.
that's been cleared up. It's like you're having a revelation, a bit of an aha moment. So like I said with your um, channeled message, it's going to hit you like a bolt of lightning and it's going to hit you straight in your heart space. Many of you may need to have a conversation to balance something out. Uh, notice the chakra colors coming here, all about balance. Uh, the blue representing the throat chakra. So there may be some sort of communication that needs to happen in order to trigger a, a new cycle okay let's have a look and see what your crowning wisdom messages are saying my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your crowning wisdom message to the question how thank you oh look at that the the vision quest absolutely uh with the yellow coming here the sun uh, so this is the victory. This is the happiness. This is you taking a leap of faith um, almost in the adversity of any kind of fear or any kind of pain. You're being guided uh, to see things from a different perspective, break down any illusions, which I feel that your spirit team will do this week and basically crack on forward. OK, crack on forward to a common goal, a common quest. OK, um, uh, seeing things from a different um, perspective, seeing past the pain, seeing past the fear, taking the action, because with that sun coming out here, it's as though it's going to bring you victory, uh, abundance, um, a common goal. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you uh, tell me your crowning wisdom messages to the question, how does these soulmates of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus they're just telling me with this shell here, many of you may have um, retreated into your shell because you just didn't know. Um, it's like you were on the fence. You don't you, you didn't know. And it feels as if this sun here, look at that, the sun coming here. And look, circle, 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 transformation. Uh, your view of this person is going to be transformed. Wow. And with the earth cards coming here, I feel as if you're being guided to stay grounded, um, stay connected with Mother Earth, Divine Spirit Universe. Uh, and they're also letting you know that um, uh, they're cradling you right now. They've they've got your back. OK, they've got your back when it comes to your heart. And I feel that, again, look at this symbol of the sun. You've got the uh, moon coming from the darkness into the light and right into your third eye chakra. Uh, you're being guided to see something from a very different perspective. Know that your spirit team, um, particularly Mother Earth, um, is cradling right, you right now. Almost returning all those shattered pieces of pain, uncertainty, doubt, being on the fence, um, returning all those shattered pieces to you to make you whole again, to trust what it is you're seeing. Um, and whatever it is you are seeing, um, you see that this person is significant to you in some shape, form or another. My angel, thank you. Oh, gosh. And coyote. Wow. OK, so this is all um, very much about that solar plexus, not the solar plexus. Sorry, the sacral chakra uh, coming in here. So that is letting you know that um, you are you're feeling you're, you're feeling this person on a very, very, very deep deep level okay um but you're also very very watchful uh watching watching what you're feeling try not to react uh to this person based on feelings um it almost feels as if um because the coyote um is a symbol of a trickster you may have been tricked in the past by somebody that you trusted either in a workplace or within a love connection and you were greatly disappointed and therefore you're seeing this person and thinking look I feel this person on a really deep level who are they what's their significance are they here to trick me are they here to entrap me again bring me down that road and it's kind of like well I've learned that lesson and that's why you're very much on the um on the um on the fence but the other side of the coyote is one that provides um growth understanding by ensuring um things that perhaps plans that you had um 
I don't know, in business, in work, in, in, in the community, um, it's taking you on a different detour. And it's possibly because this person can actually help you on this quest, get you to where you've got to go to faster, quicker, smarter. OK, um, if this is um, a love connection <coughs> and you're feeling that this person is uh, you're not trusting, you're, you're unsure. Uh, I feel as if, if you think or you, uh, like you're not going to, like you don't want to give it any attention, you're just ignoring it. The coyote is detouring you. It's, it's taking you on a detour to um, wake you up, to see, um, to see what you are feeling, okay? A lot of orange coming in here um, to see what you are feeling. Um, the lessons offered by the coyote, um, first of all, they yeah, they do appear confusing um, because I do feel that you're confused with this individual, whoever they are. Um, but it is also a very sacred symbol um, and is here to help you uh, see um, the benefit of this person uh, for your highest good. OK, um, so pay attention to all the um uh twists and turns uh with this person um and have faith basically have faith that this person has been brought into your life for a reason for a season for many of you if this is to do with business it feels as if they're going to help you fulfill a quest uh get to where you want to get to uh faster smarter if this is a love connection i feel as if it's somebody that you wouldn't have ever thought uh could be somebody um that you would even get romantically involved with that's the detour it's like, think again, think again. Wow. Okay. Because I feel like they're going to bring you a lot of happiness. And that's why you've got to go with what you're feeling. Because whatever this bolt of reality, a hard moment, is going to hit you straight, straight in your heart space. Wow. Okay, Cancerians, if this message is resonating for you, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push the video out to other Cancerians. And also, if you do choose to subscribe, it does enable you to get those uh, notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, Cancerians, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. It's really, really appreciated. Existing subscribers, welcome 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 back thank you for all of your support encouragement and donations it's really really appreciated and i hope that you all get a useful and meaningful message out of this week's reading okay let's do this let's see how this is all connecting my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me <clears throat> i don't know what's going on here feeling a bit stuck are we Cancerians, well, the pieces will come together. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does these soulmates of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Monday the 25th of October through to Sunday the 31st of October 2021. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Cancerians that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? As above, so below, and all around me. Thank you. Cancerians, any of the cards that jumped out in your pre-shuffle whilst meditating for this uh, reading, if they come out on camera, I will call them out for you. All right, let's do this. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you tell me how does... Ooh, okay, so, yeah, look at... Wow, okay. <laughs> the king of wands, didn't I say um, so, um, that you were uh, on the fence with this person? Um, on the fence with this person, very unsure, and I feel that this is your energy. What you are not realising is that this person is going to bring you um, great joy, great happiness. Notice with this particular knight of wands, there are four wands. It's almost as this, 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 this person. It's almost like 
like there's a soul contract here, uh, either long term commitment or marriage for some of you. If this is a work colleague, I feel like this person is going to be with you for a long time. Like I said, I, I felt that um, this was a fated connection. Um, and I feel that this whoever you are connecting with, they may feel your apprehension. They may understand or they may be wishing, hoping, praying that you take a leap of faith with them uh, because I know because they I know or uh, they know I should say uh, that um, that they're, they're going to be around for a long time if that makes sense or that they have some value uh, to your life um, I also feel as if uh, they may also see you as long-term commitment marriage material with the nine of wands I feel that um, divine spirit universe I feel is um, guiding this person or or this person must be very intuitive because it feels as if they're all up um in your energy so it feels as if this person must be observing you from a distance really observing what they say and what they do the actions that they take towards you because it feels as if they know that you're very guarded when it comes to communicating with them and I feel that that's going to be shattered. It's like they want, it's like divine spirit universe is acknowledging that you've, or, or they acknowledge somehow, uh, maybe they're getting some sort of revelation that you have been disappointed in the past, that you are very guarded when it comes to talking, comes to communicating. They themselves may also uh, be quite guarded. Like I said, watching very, very carefully what they say or what they do. But I do feel that they want to talk. There's, there's, there's conversations I feel that they do want to have with you. They may also be on the fence as well, you know. But it's like the two of you pick up each other very strongly. Wow. Yeah, look at this. This person is solid. This per male or female with that king of pentacles, this person is solid, okay? And I feel that they're coming towards you uh, with a very, very solid offer. They are they are very grounding, very spirit, well, very spiritual, very, very wise. I would say that they're quite a mature person as well, okay? It's like they have been guided into your life for a reason. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Let me just show you this card. Now tell me if that does not look like an office. Kind of like at an in an office, juggling kind of work, you know, preparing food, uh, the office, working late nights, maybe writing, um, uh, I don't know, some sort of uh, doing lots of writing by the looks of it with that quill there. Uh, the, the key thing here is that um, this person may recognise that you do burn the candle at both ends. Uh, you are a very hard worker and they see that. They see that you put in a lot of work with what you're doing. And it's very interesting that's come right underneath the vision quest. Um, and I feel that is letting uh, letting us know that whatever it is you fear with this person, and I don't mean fear, like you don't fear them, but like, how can I put it? You're like on the fence, like, can you trust this person? And I feel as if um, you're being guided that you can uh, move forward, take that leap of faith. OK, uh, because I feel that uh, if this is with regards to work, it's like you need the help. You need the insight. Seven of Pentacles. Uh, yeah, something is definitely being birthed here. And look at that. That Seven of Pentacles is right underneath the Earth card. So I feel as if uh, something is very rooted in this connection. Uh, I would say that you work very, very hard in your workplace or within a community. Um, I feel that uh, uh, what you're trying to grow, what is it you're trying to achieve? 
uh, what you may not realize is this person will help you to achieve that. And whether this is um, on a love front or somebody that is, um, you know, a colleague or somebody that is in the community or like you have a shared passion or hobby or something where there's a, a community of people that come together. Uh, it feels as if whatever it is you're trying to plant the seeds, uh, trying to grow, um, on your life journey, uh, you're burning the candle at both ends. You put in a lot of work. I would say that you guys are trying to increase money, either increase money of uh, a company, increase your own personal wealth. That's why you work really, really hard. You're rooting and um, planting the seeds of the future that you want to build for yourself. Uh, this person is coming in to help you. OK, um, and it, like I said, it could be a colleague. It could be somebody um, on a love front that will help you on this journey. It's like putting your resources together. The two of you can actually achieve quite a lot of money. Wow. Let's um, have a uh, look at your clarifiers. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify? Thank you. OK, so with this King of Cups, whoever this person is on a love front or um, a, a colleague or something, uh, they're suppressing how they feel. OK, uh, they do want to talk. And we saw that we saw that they wanted to talk here, but they may recognize that you're quite protective over anything that you talk about. So, for example, in a workplace, you you may just keep it very much work, keep your work and personal life separate with regards to a love connection. This person's noticed you and I would say that they've noticed you for a while. You bring them a lot of happiness, but they're a bit imminent are in or they may pick up that you're a bit um and are in um so therefore they're suppressing how they feel they want to talk to you but they don't know quite how to and it's possibly because they see that uh you might be a bit guarded this person thinks about you all the time cancerians you are in their heart you are in their mind they don't want to let go of this connection they feel this depth of this connection because it's fated we we saw that it's it's a fated connection they couldn't let you go even if they wanted to. Thank you. And judgment, wow, okay. Now, judgment came up in uh, your pre-shuffle, but it didn't come up reverse. It's come up reverse here. I would say um, that this person um, knows that they're supposed to build something with you. If this is a breakup, OK, I feel that this person wants reconciliation, um, but they may be feeling weak. They may feel that there is no hope. That's why they're holding back how they feel. They want to talk. They can't let you go, but they may know that whatever triggered this um, departure, um, they they feel weak. They, they, they don't know whether or not um, there, there's any hope of the two of you coming together. I would say that they want to talk. They want to talk about offering something really solid. If this is a new connection, I would say that this person, or do you know what I did? they're just telling me? Maybe this person is somebody that you know at work. So it, for many of you, it could be a double whammy. Like this person may actually help you achieve like business goals, um, achieve growth, okay? Uh, they recognize that you work really hard, but there may be an underline that they have kind of fallen for you a little bit, but they may feel that you're going to be a bit guarded. You might be their boss. Suppressing how they feel, but you feel the connection too, but it's like, like I said, it's not something that you planned. And I think the coyote is taking you on a bit of a detour to say, hold on a minute, think again. But this person certainly wants to communicate with you this week. Something solid, whatever the situation is, something solid um, to do with work, to do with the love connection, to do with the reconciliation. They're coming in, um, having thought about it. Uh, leveled up, I would say. Um, and I would say that you're missing this person. With a love connection, you're certainly missing this person. 
feeling quite nostalgic, okay? Um, if this is um, not somebody that you have been in a relationship or it isn't a breakup, uh, you feel this person on a deep soul level. And I said that all, uh, all along with the Six of Cups. Um, there's something that is very nostalgic about them, very familiar about them. And it's because you guys have lived many, many lives, be um, many, many lives together. And it feels as if this person has been brought on your path to help you to grow, basically to help you to grow, to help you achieve what you want, either in the workplace or your personal finances, um, in order to get there faster, smarter. With the five of uh, wands, I feel that, the, yeah, you're very conflicted. You're very conflicted as to whether or not you can trust this person, whether you can open up, whether or not you can lighten the load of work, of um paying a lot of attention to work very conflicted and this is where i was picking up that you're on the fence oh wow okay so with the king of swords um if this is somebody that uh you was in a previous relationship with uh they may have cut you out OK, they may have cut you out. And so therefore, them coming in with any communication is leaving you very, very conflicted, very, very unsure. Um, if this isn't um, a breakup that this person that cut you out wants to come back and reconcile, uh, I feel that whoever has um, uh, caught your attention that you're really unsure about, uh, I feel as if um, they may see you as somebody that's in authority, somebody that is... Um, uh, uh, somebody that is quite blunt, you, you don't mince your words, okay, but you're open to talk, okay, um, so see that in, in very, yeah, look at that, yeah, you're open to talk, but I would say that you are um, quite um, defensive, if you've got to cut somebody out because they, uh, or you may feel as if you're not letting this person in, you just want to keep them at a distance, um, because perhaps you are the boss, okay, or, um, you know, if it is a, a new love interest, um, you may, like I said, you may think that this is not somebody that you would go for. Think again. Uh, you do want to talk. You do certainly want to talk, um, but you are um, on your guard. And I feel that this person recognises that. They see that you're on your guard. It's like you want to get more information Finding out what this person is like, who are they? Oh, wow. And I cannot even make it up with the 10 of coins coming out here. Uh, whether this is a new person or a reconciliation, they certainly want to have a conversation with you. Even though you're guarded, you may want to have a conversation as well. Um, uh, because they want to build a future with you and there may be something in your heart space that wants to build a future with them but you don't trust it uh, with regards to somebody that is a, not a love connection uh, like I said this person has been brought on your path to help you uh, to uh, uh, um, uh, build your finances or help you on this quest to grow a company, uh, uh, have a common goal. Uh, and you guys are going to make a lot of money. Look at eight of pentacles, seven of pentacles, ten of pentacles, a lot of wealth, a lot of money here. OK, uh, so whether or not it's a love connection or something outside a love connection, like a, 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 a colleague or um, somebody that's within your community, you guys coming together um, to fulfill some sort of quest, a life quest, um, a love quest, uh, a, a work quest uh, is going to bring in a lot of money. Wow. And I did see happiness. I did see a lot of happiness. So I feel as if whatever your plans are, whatever you think of this person, um, like you wouldn't go there with a barge pole or you refuse to open up on that, you know, on that, I suppose, open up your heart to this person. I feel coyotes coming in to say, think again. Think again, because this person uh, actually is a detour to your plans because coming together with this person uh, will help you to fulfill whatever quest you are on for love, for finances, to grow a company. Um, 
they're going to help you basically all right let's have a look at your advice wow do you know something my goodness gracious me uh for many of you this is honestly in the workplace this is to do with the work connection career it's time to add extra energy into your career area maybe try something new and that try something new is to alleviate the burden if you're uh, burning the candles at two uh, at, at both ends uh, this person that's come into your company or come into your team it feels as if a uh, uh, you need to give some energy and thought to alleviate some of your work duties to this person. And um, because coming together, you guys are going to make a lot of money uh, with regards to uh, a love connection. Like I say, it could be somebody that is in your workplace. Uh, for many of you, if you have these aspirations of building finances to have kind of like financial freedom in some shape form or another this person is going to come in with a solid offer they may come in with a lot of money may help you launch a project may help you launch something maybe uh, uh, branch out on your own with this person um, they may put a lot of money into it but you know what you guys are going to get a lot of money out of it all right my angels and spirit guides of the divine Please, can you tell me? Thank you. And ground. Look, look at that. Ground yourself. It's time to ground and center your energy. Be truly present in your life. And this is Mother Earth coming here. Uh, basically, um, uh, cradling you, holding you, telling you that we have got you. Uh, everything that you're thinking and feeling of this person, this connection with that Six of Cups. Uh, you know this person from past lives. So keep yourself grounded. Try and look at things from a different um, perspective because I feel that the vision that you have of this person um, or the future that you see with this person is going to um, be, um, that illusion is going to be smashed, basically. <gasps> Excuse me. So keep yourself grounded. A new chapter, I feel, basically, Cancer is opening up for you with somebody that has been brought on your path to help you achieve uh, your life dreams, your aspirations. It's two of you coming together are going to create a lot of money. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. So take that leap of faith, basically. Yeah, look, and they're going to give you balance. We saw that, didn't we, with the uh, fool's embrace. Uh, it's time to find balance in your life, what is most important to you. So I feel that this balance um, is, is going to come where you ground yourself. Uh, maybe... Um, you know, be open and honest with yourself. If if this is a bit of ego driven, you know, maybe you feel this person is beneath you in some shape, form or another, or this person doesn't have the same amount of skills as you. And, and therefore, how can you alleviate some of the workloads? Whatever it is, I feel that you're being guided to balance career, balance love, keep yourself grounded and figure out um, uh, what's important to you. Yeah, because at the moment, there's a lot of money. There's a lot of drive around money. Um, and I feel that they're trying to say to you, balance, balance that out and, and open yourself to love as well. Uh, maybe try something new. Yeah, maybe try and open up to love. OK, open up to letting somebody else alleviate some of the burdens at work to give you um, a balance, uh, a, a balance of life, quality of life. Keep yourself grounded and be in the present because you are definitely on this quest of achieving whatever you're um, uh, 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 trying to achieve. And for many of you, it feels as if it's about financial security in some shape, form or another. All right. I'm going to leave that there for you, Cancerians. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.